हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मेरा नाम शियान सो माई चैनल इज ऑल ओवर मर्चन नेवी मेरा इंजीनियरिंग नोटिकल साइंस इंजन डिपार्टमेंट एंड टेक डिपार्टमेंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यूट्यूब चैनल एडवेंचर स्टोरी विच इज ऑपरेटेड बाई चीफ इंजीनियर सो बेसिकली ही सपोर्टेड मी वेन आई वॉज स्टार्टिंग अप माई यूट्यूब चैनल ही प्रोमोटेड माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक हिम वेरी मच एंड ही ऑल्सो हैव अ गेमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म यू कैन गो टू माई description below and look at the gaming platform it is very interesting gaming platform so i would like to again thank adventure story youtube channel which really helped me out so basically this chief engineer upload all kind of technical stuff related to engine room and related to merchant navy you can go down to my description below and check out his channel also and yeah guys i will be also providing you with a telegram channel link basically this channel deals with all kind of study material related to merchant navy whether you belong to deck department engine department or even electrical department basic basically this channel contains all kind of pdf material related to all study material which will be helping you for cracking the examination for officer level whether it be meo class 4 class 2 class 1 or mate examination or even eto coc examination so guys check out this channel this is, hey guys i am active in social media too you can follow me in the instagram i will be giving you the link in my description below hey ya uh, how are you all i hope all of you are fine so the topic for today is how leak test can be done for starting air valve in the main engine that is two stroke cross head type of engine so guys Let's go to the video and check out how the test that is the leak test can be done. How leak test can be done for two stroke cross head engine that is our main engine. Basically it can be done in two condition. That is first condition is while engine is running. That is while our ship is in locomotion that is it is sailing. Then the second condition is while at port that is our main engine is at stopped condition now let's take the first condition and look at how the leak test can be done while the engine is running so guys let's go and have a look so guys this is how the starter valve looks like you can pause the video and have a look at the starter valve while the engine is running what we have to do is just we have to hand touch this particular pipe that is air supply pipe as it is written over here so if the, we hand touch this particular air supply pipe if it is noted that it is having a high temperature or it is hotter in nature than the adjacent unit pipe then we can come to a conclusion that this particular air starting valve is leaking now the question is why this particular air start valve will be hotter in nature as compared to the adjacent air supply pipe because if the exhaust gas is entering through this particular air start valve opening as the air start valve is leaking so the exhaust gas will enter through this point as the exhaust gas is high temperature in nature so obviously the high temperature will make this particular air supply valve hotter or high temperature in nature so this is the reason why we are doing hand touch on this particular air supply pipe so guys let's move to our second condition that is while our ship is at port or our main engine is at stopped condition so guys how can you we find out that our starter valve is leaking the first and the foremost thing that we must do is that open the indicator cock that is this particular cock for all the unit then the second important step that we must do is that close the isolating valve to air distributor so this is the next thing that we must do we must close it then the next step you have to do is that open this particular valve that is air bottle valve 
the third important step is to set the control lever to start position if any air escapes through the indicator cock then it shows that the start air valve of that particular unit of the main engine is leaking now the important question in front of us is that how the starting air that is the 30 bar pressure air will be coming out of the indicator cock of the main engine of that particular unit as we have already discussed this particular isolating valve is closed and no more 30 bar pressure will be going towards the air distributor and from the air distributor towards the top of the cylinder starter valve to open the cylinder starter valve of that particular unit the 30 bar pressure air from the automatic air start valve will be waiting inside the cylinder start air valve as no more air that is the 30 bar air from the air distributor is going through on the top of the cylinder start air valve so this will be waiting inside the cylinder start air valve as the cylinder start air valve is not opened so as soon as the cylinder start air valve gets the 30 bar pressure on the top of the cylinder start air valve from the air distributor this particular start air valve will open and the 30 bar pressure will get inside from here we can see much more in a detailed fashion so this is the detailed drawing i was talking about so the 30 bar pressure air from the distributor will be coming to this particular point and will be pushing the piston downwards as this 30 bar pressure from the air distributor pushes the piston downwards overcoming the spring tension this particular start air valve will open and eventually the 30 bar pressure from the automatic start air valve will get inside the cylinder so this is how the starting air gets inside the cylinder from the start air valve now let's consider the condition in which the start air valve is leaking if this particular start air valve is leaking without the action from the air distributor 30 bar pressure acting on the top of this particular piston overcoming the spring tension if this particular 30 bar pressure is not acting and this particular valve is opened then eventually the 30 bar pressure from the automatic start air valve will get inside the combustion chamber and obviously as it enters it will be coming out of the the indicator cock that's the reason why we are opening the indicator cock of all the unit of the main engine so that we get the indication that the starting air valve of that particular unit is leaking that's the main reason why we are opening the indicator cock for all the unit of the main engine let the unit number be 1 2 3 4 5 6 it doesn't matter we have to open the indicator cock of all the unit so this is how the leak test is done for the starting air valve for two stroke crosshead engine by using this two condition we have discussed how the leak test can be performed while the engine is running as well as while the engine is in stop condition i hope this video was really interesting for you guys guys if you have any doubts comment down below in the comment section and if you find this video really useful share with your friend as well guys if you like my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for future notification thank you and have a nice day guys